Welcome back to Overlord Arcade. Our next trial will be the Lake of Acuity in the Alabaster Icelands. Let's motor. I should, should open that before I start the episode. Whatever. Another drink. Ah, tasty. Mmm. What brand of beverage is that, I wonder? I don't know. Could be anything. Could be, uh... That's... I love that stupid joke. It's from Whose Line of the Day where it's like, What are you drinking there, Drew? Uh, I don't know. Could be anything. Could be a 7-Up. Could be a Mountain Dew. Could be... Could be a root beer. Uh, depends on who wants to pay me the most money. I'll tell you what. Tastes great, though. <laughs> Uh, there's something that just makes that just gives me a giggle whenever I hear super upfront dishonest like endorsements for things. <sighs> Stupid swine up. I wasn't trying to beef with you. I'm just trying to go get a thing with a doodle and go to with the bippity boppity hay. Wherever adventure takes me. Oh, come on, you stupid deer. Don't get stuck on steps. Everybody knows deer can't go downstairs, but they can go upstairs. Uh, it, actually true, but not deer. It's cows. Cows cannot go downstairs. It's weird. It's something to do with their joints. You can lead a cow up a set of stairs, but you cannot lead them down them. Real pain in the ass if you ever end up stuck upstairs on the second floor of a house with a cow. Because you're going to have to airlift that thing down. Or get a big slide, but I don't know if cows are big on slides. Here we are, Lake of County! You know, it's been a, I've been uh, told it actually contains sea water as well. Nobody knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. I'm filled with questions, but not so much with answers. Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Ooxie. Sounds like... Just, sounds like somebody made an Ooxie Dooxie. Uh, Ooxie took flight. The knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the stories say, anyway. You and your stories, fop. Hold on, let me bust out my phone. I gotta take a pic for my, for my Insta. Check out this rock. Ah, dang it, there's a hole in it now. Oh well, so much for the pick of a lifetime. A tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. Let's go, player. Foppish, you've seen this thing work in action already. This is cave number two, come on. I imagine there may be Pokemon in there. They're protecting the lake's guardian. So, you know, hey, take care. I'll be over, I'll be out here, just... Hanging out, waiting for the good news. I'm the hero that he we deserve. Well, let's see what's waiting for us in this cave. Oh, hey oh, a menacing Pokemon stands before you. That wasn't one of my lines, that was more of narration, but yeah, just take it how it comes, you know? Now, look, I know you don't need me to tell you this, player, but I've got to say it anyway. Be careful and, uh, rip oh, yeah, uh, Captain Silene told me, uh, told me to tell you don't die. Just a little reminder. Okay, what were you weak against? I wish I could remember. Oh well, in the meantime, here. Have a flosion. Kawow! Somebody's metal is shit. Go get a typhlosion! You the man! Alright, I'm just gonna do this now. So it's weak to dark, is it? Alright, Gengar. Earn your stars. Kill it! There we go, nailed it. Good job, Gengar. You're the bad. Hit him with my ghosts. 
I knew you'd do it, Plarf. All you had to do was get a quick little hint on what it was weak to. It's weird that it'll tell you that when you don't and you've never fought one before, but whatever. Oh look, we found another little space baby! How can I help you? Come, I will test your knowledge. Oh, you got it. I'm a smart make. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. How many, how many are their eyes? Tell me each one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Okay, let me hear what the Pokemon are again. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. So, how many eyes? Six, zero, one, three, one. Uh, okay. Six, zero, one, three, one. Damn it. Da 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 da. That's actually the area code for Heesui. Crazy, right? <laughs> so if you ever need to send packages to Plarmph, you know, spare Pokeballs, rocks, your favorite Pokemon, that's the zip code. And I've been banished, so I can't receive it. Good job, Ooxie. It ripped a claw out for me. I don't even see claws! It has little Powerpuff Girl mitten hands. Got little Doughboy slappers. Alright, just one more to go. I, you go, yeah, a claw, you say. Well, it doesn't look like one. It looks like it's made out of bread dough. Is it like a croissant? Uxie's croissant? Well, I assume all went well, Plarm, because you're not dead. Still, right? You're not like a ghost, right? Or some kind of monster? Anyway, I have to wonder. Why don't they just give us the red chain? What's all with, with the rummy bird? Look, I can guess of two reasons. To keep the chain safe and to test us. Okay, but why do that? Perhaps you're right, but why, why keep it safe from what? Uh, test us, why? It's already behind a magical stone door you can't open without a smartphone. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands, after all? Oh, have, uh... <sighs> yeah. Though having said that, isn't the red chain for mending the world? What use would some villain have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. Well, you could well be right. I guess we'll have no way of knowing until we got the red chain for ourselves. So shall we return to Mistress Kajita's home? Yes. Let's go back. It's weird that I'm like the only one that doesn't know how to get there. Wonderful. Then we can see if Mistress Kajita has any more insights to share with us. Papish, you're a tool. <laughs> Insightful. So that's Ux's claw, I said the warmth to it. The Pokemon of the lakes are strange to say the least. They seem to play on your own mind somehow. Indeed! Yeah, we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are tense, to say the least. What makes you say so? Well, it seems the Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Ginkgo guild merchants informed me that Commander Kamado has raised the force. Not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdo it. Are you sure they need a prize? One of them Ginkgo guild merchants. You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Foppish do good. Now if, if a Pokemon were to truly appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? All right, that's it, little supplier. Fabish Dugu's not the Gingo Guild Merchant. We got one. We got one material left to find for the red chain. Let's get a move on. That's the spirit. I'll come watch this historic moment in full too. I will be helping. Now watch. Is that all you really do? 
Remember, once you thought the third leg and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins. I like, I love that she's calling out Foppish Duguid on being completely useless. <laughs> so where are you? <laughs> Shit. I'm getting all mixed up. <laughs> so where are you headed? Well, I'm obviously going here. Where is her house again? Oh yeah, it's right here. Uh, Bugbound Camp. I'm guessing that's closer. Gonna run, run, run in the Meyer lands. Gonna run, run, run in the swampy swamp. Uh, I, just show up here. This guy's like, I'm talking about a pseudo -wudo. Like, I'm, I bet you are, man. You're kind of intense. There it is. Braviary. Braviary. Just keep flying, buddy. I'm kind of at a point where, like, just catching rando Pokemon isn't actually going to help me as far as experience goes. So that's the only reason I'm not, like, going out of my way to catch anything on my way there. Yeah. Do you know about Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption. Most like Lake Verity. Then why are you like... Why are you telling me this, fop? Though there are also these theories that say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokemon battle. Are you, are you listening? I'm still talking. It's like it's protected by the Pokemon Azelf. When he took flight... The world that do what needs doing was born in people's hearts. Or that is what legend would have us believe. Are you still talking, do good? I'm trying to, like, carve the entrance to a cave. But no, you go on. You, you go on with your Wikipedia article knowledge. I'm sure it'll help us greatly when it comes to doing the trial. Oh, a cave appears where there was none. As if just for Plarf. It's just the third time! Alright, here we go, Plarf. I imagine strong Pokemon could wait inside, protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Much like the other two times. Take care. You are just on my last nerve. Do good! We're gonna have words, you and me! All right, let's see what we're up against. Oh, okay. I'm menacing Pokemon wits before you. Watch it, Plarf. I've heard about this one from my grandfather. Those quills, they're venomous. You got it. I'm gonna hit it with... So it's... It is still poison water, right? I should be able to just electrocute it to death. Fishy me! I don't... I don't know any world in which it's supposed to save. Fishy me! Oh, they're alpha Pokemon. I was gonna say, I was wondering why they're like... No, of course they're alpha. I don't, I don't. I'm not even like surprised by it. What am I going on about? It's not super effective, but fuck them up! Oh shit! Can I? Oh! I could have been catching these. Damn it! I feel like an idiot. Could have caught a Zoroark or whatever that thing was called. Well, now we have an Overquill. Good for us. Stupid! 
so annoyed that I just didn't catch it. That's my plarf. <laughs> Ooh, mysterious presence. Is it gonna be another little space baby? Yes, it is. <laughs> Show me unyielding will. Strike me, oh mighty strikeman. Ooh, balms. All right. You're pretty good at throwing pies, right? Well, there you go. It's a whole basket full of pies. Well. Woo! Woo! Would you stand still? Cut the shit! Will you abandon this folly? Never! I have nigh infinite pies! I've only thrown three. I had to throw like a thousand at that Avalug thing. Don't even get me started on that electrode. I have got a cannon and I've got all the hostess pies I can throw. Oh, I'm not done. I'll never be done throwing pies. Are you kidding me? You even said it was an infinite amount of pies. Think I'm just gonna stop? You gave me these! That one should have hit you. Struggle in vain. You go press on, kid. Hell yeah. Hoppa! You turned your back, you stupid bitch! <laughs> Never turn your back in a pie fight! Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. What terrifying body part have you packaged up for me? Oh, just a tooth. Just hold on, wait a minute. He gets the pliers out. You're gonna need this. Huh? Huh? <laughs> there you go. Enjoy your tooth. Now we can go make a red chain. I wonder why these things are so eager. Wait. Weird, it didn't tell me to leave. Most of these things have been like, no, 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 go to the exit, it's over there. We wouldn't want you to miss it. Well, it seems we finished the three lake trials. And if I remember correctly, we were told then to head for the shrouded ruins. Like, I don't know what could have waited us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let's go! Foppish. Do some good, please. The Shrouded Ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things. It's long been said to blur, to blur boundaries. Fop! Just let us do this, man! You don't, gotta, you, you don't have to tour guide this one for us. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myths, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what do we have to do now? Uh, smack these on the rock wall. Duh. Seems I made it in time. That's showing up only when the time's right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess. It, I'm, did I ask you? <laughs> I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Right, but how do we make this red chain? I've, hell if I know, I got told about this by ancestors. We speak of a divine instrument, once said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Yes, I'd hoped so. As of right now, we've got eight mortal hands around these things. I don't see more hands. <gasps> Space baby hands! All right, Plarf, lucky day, we got space babies. 
Ah, the Pokemon of the lakes. They glow on something fierce. Hopefully they can take all them creepy body parts and turn them into a chain for you. Mm, nice. Got myself a hoop de hoo I don't know how those three things came together to make that chain, but they did. That's what matters. <laughs> well, damn. I thought I was pulling your legs. Turns out it was true. The pact our people have passed down all these generations has been kept. Uh, oh, at last I can set this burden aside. You've, dis you've succeeded once again, Plarf. Well, there's... Yeah, things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. And, it, again, if you could just clarify without the, uh, without the clickbait opening... I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. No, nah, no, nah, we've already established you ain't in that guild. <laughs> I, anyway, it seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish, and he plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. What the heck? What's he thinking? Even if it makes it up there, what can he do against a giant rift in space-time? He can suplex it off the top of the mountain! Well, he doesn't yet know that our plarm has managed to get the red chain now, does he? Well, that's what I exactly am supposed to wait to find that out. We've got to let him know that it'll be alright now that we have the red chain. Even the commander should see reason and then call off his foolhardy plans of his. One can only hope! But foolhardy he is. You do know he solves literally every problem with Thumo, right? Oh, woe is me. So bored without my... Hey, now wait a minute. That looked like Plumph. Let's go find him. Oh, shit. Wait, Plumph, it is you. I can't believe I, let, I just let you pass right by. Thank goodness you're still alive. I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be all right. Wait one second. I'll go let the captain and the professor know you're back. I wish they were just like exactly off screen so we could run like three steps and be like commander professor plarf is back professor i know you've been worried about plarf but there's no need to cry i'm not crying don't mock your elders if you please ray sniff him. and besides weren't you the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from all your worrying over our friend it shut up you didn't have to say that ignore him plarf he's old and crazy Anyway, where's Captain Silene? Wasn't she coming with you, Professor? Uh, she's very out of a mountain of work, I'm afraid. You know the commander. Captain, whatever. We're to join her at Survey Corps office. It seems her hands are more than full now that Commander Kamado's gone. You're not here? Well, he set out for Mount Coronet with the Security Corps in tow. He determined to handle this whole space-time debacle himself. Including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. You know? <laughs> and since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching this gate for the security core folk. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head, let's head inside and report to the captain. Ray, you did not take over for the security core. You took a nap almost. So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Well, if I failed that, it's not like you could berate me. Thanks to you, Captain. I don't know what you're implying. All I know is Amber vanished of its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. And I didn't even use it. Before moving forward, I must ask. I assume you're here to again because you've managed to learn something of use? I got this red chain. It's pretty dope. Go on. No, that's about all I got right now is I got this red chain. That's pretty much all I know. A legendary tool said to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The security corps has been scouting the area near the space-time rift, and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend it off of, or spend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. The boss may be tough, but it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Plomp's help. Yeah, I know. I 
said I, I put that in writing in triplicate poor bastard can't read as the commander of the survey corps I hereby order you to proceed as follows Blarf take that red chain to Mount Coronet make your way to the peak and put an end to all this P pretty pleased with a cherry on top you're officially reinstated at your former rank pretty cool right I can do that as far as I know are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. Sorry, I dozed off for a second. If he didn't wish for me to decide things in his place, then he shouldn't have left me in charge here. <laughs> but if it all goes well... Wait, what? I don't... Don't ask me what that had to do with what you just said. I, it felt like I was playing off of it, but I didn't think it through. We're all in this together, members of the security corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. No, no, you were going. That was happening. Hello. Uh, do you have a mission for me or something? Is yeah, something the matter? Ooh, he's a wandering badass. And he's named after bread. I'm Plarmf. Hi. I know we just met, and you seem like you have a request for me, but I really do have something I need to be doing right now. Guru. <laughs> Seems Lucario sensed your strong aura, too. Well, great. Did you want me to fight your Pokemon? Like, if you're willing to battle this, could you come to the training grounds? I mean... I kind of have like a thousand other things I should be doing right now. Honestly, I really don't have time for that. But if you insist, I'll come kick your ass. You there, dick butt. I take it you're ready for our battle. Yeah, why not? Now then, let's forego the small talk and proceed right to battle. That's our style. I don't know why I gave him the... I feel like I've used that voice already for... That basically feels like the commander's voice in a nutshell. Get out there, Typhlosion. It's a Lucario. It's made out of suck. And it'll melt. Kill it! He did it. Ah, nuts. I should have brought more than one Pokemon. <laughs> what a wonderful battle. You beat him in one hit. Oh, I think we'll test our skills in other places from now on. You better. You better stay the hell out of Jubilee Village, you son of a bitch. Running, running, gotta go save the commander. It's gonna go get eaten by a super space butthole. Rift in space and time. Gonna get sucked up sublimely. Gonna get stuffed in a space time rifty butthole. Eh. What even is this? Oh, right. Some tree mushrooms. Adamant! Let's go save the idiot. Ah, there you are, Plarf. It is disorder that hit it to Mount Coronet. How are things looking here? Well, the commander's already at Mount Coronet, so Irida should be there. Why is she lagging behind? Well, he's already started up the mountain. He must be more reckless than that dignified manner of his let's own. Not that I blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. Oh, you and your shticks. Well, all right then. Guess I'm going after him. No, guess we're all going after him. Let me go first, Plarf. If you were to show up with no warning, then there'd probably be a fight. You know, time's a wasting, so I'll see you there. Now, who's the reckless one now? Hmm? You got run out of the village, right? But, uh, still trying to find a way to help us all. Trust me, it was against my better judgment. I was mad at everybody, including you. 
That's right. Prime Force hard to get that red chain to help everybody. The guy's just sitting there like, red chain? What? I, what now? You're too right. The fan jobs you did too. The survey calls always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. <laughs> oh, sweet. What's this? What are you giving me? It's like, it's a single medicinal herb. Ah, oh, cool. Thanks. <laughs> it's my teddy bear. Oh, I can't take this. I don't have room in my bag. <laughs> All right, one, make for the summit camp, and from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. Three, don't die. I can't understand why I have to keep telling you this. You'd think it would be obvious by now. Just don't die. Just literally get your head out of your butt and stay alive. I've heard the latest. So you've been accepted back into the galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, some max potions from me to celebrate. Yay! Looks like the big moment the pawn is at last. But no doubt I'll, it'll be fine. After all, you've worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adamant and Irida have headed to the peak as well. Sounds like something pretty, sounds like something hanky's happened up there. My good friend Plump, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. I don't buy bathing from you people that often. It seems Kamado tends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I'll set up shop closer to the temple itself. Close to the action, if you catch what I mean. Oh, why do you have to be here? Hmm. Things seem, seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here for moral support at least. Oh, you're less of a dick this time. That's good. I genuinely don't see him. So, moral support from afar? Great, thank you. Okay, good. That's just the same stuff I already had in there. I climb the mountain. Go climb the mountain. Wonk. I might as well try to catch stuff on the way up then. Like this, a lick of buzz. Wah! Ah, well, shucks, that didn't work. Yeah! You piece of shit! all you couldn't just go in the ball couldn't just be cool excuse me I have business at the top of the mountain stand aside galaxy member ah good iron ore just what I needed What the hell, Benny? Hello? This isn't where you find potatoes. For mochis. Oh ho! Still alive and kicking, are we? Sorry about having to shatter the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled... You guessed it, Potato Mochi. But that Taskmaster Kamado's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds way to finds a way to put even those old 
these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, while I'm handling that, geez, what, what is going on today? I can't read for nothing. I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time to get rid of you once and for all. What? Wait, are you, are you serious? Benny? I'll make myself plain. As Commando's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds Commando, Commando can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. And besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear and strife. His dream is mine now, too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. Oh, damn, he got serious. When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, did it ever make my blood, boil, my blood run hot and my heart pound? That's right, I didn't stop being an old man just because I'm a ninja. At last. At last. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder all these long years. <laughs> ninja Benny challenged you to a battle. The fact that they just have a ninja. Oh, my champ, that's the one thing I didn't want to throw out. Well, I mean, in a pinch, just throw out the Typhlosion. It's to Ghost 2. Good, he didn't get to attack. <laughs> oh, damn it, I shouldn't have thrown out a ghost! I forgot you've had one of those since you joined! Well, this will give you something to think about! Will it? God damn it, I forgot that was bad against Ghost 2! Hold on, I'll put one of the. I'll figure something out eventually. How do you like that shit? Aw, oh, damn it! I forgot he's a Shadow Ego boy! Okay, wait, alright. I've got something, you just watch. How about one of these? Fuck my life! <laughs> But I hit him with a sleepy hand. Okay, well, how about I do this then? Okay, I'll be honest, I'm kind of goofing on this. I'm the master who's meant to deal with all the gritty details. I, okay, it seems being a ninja didn't actually help me in a Pokemon battle. I may have goofed just slightly. Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they can't beat. Well, on top of that, I genuinely have no other Pokemon. And to be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion. Or at least the skill you show in battle. And, and look, you buy a lot of food, so I'm not going to hate you for that. But listen well, Plough. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw a hometown burned to the ground by a maddened Pokemon running amok. And then I caught one, just like it, just so I'd never forget. But I've already forgotten what I did with it. 
We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Isui to try to build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. Not gonna clarify much more past that, but you might not be the only sky child that we've met and dealt with. If, hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, well, Kamado may lose hold of his reason. You should save Kamado from himself, by force if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. That's a threat. Do that, and I will kill you by making your stomach explode. That, you're a sick fuck, Benny. I'm gonna have to process that for a while. I'll catch everybody later. Ha <laughs>